Hello students, today I will take your poetry section, Amanda. This poem, Amanda, is written by Robin Klein. Robin Klein is an Australian poet. She wrote a book for children and she won so many awards in the literature field. She was born on 28 February 1936 in Australia, Wells Town in Australia. Now this poem, Amanda. Actually, this poem, Amanda, deals with the conflict between the children and their parents. Now, when all the parents, they instructed their children for their better future, for good future, so many things you have to do, these things, you have not to do these things. Now, they are instructing their children, parents. But some of the children, they don't like these instructions. Now, they, they feel irritated, these things. Here in the poem, paragraph number one, Paragraph number three, paragraph number five, and the paragraph number seven is speaking by the speaker here. Speaker here means the mother of Amanda. And the paragraph two, four, and the six is the imagination of Amanda. Now, let's begin the chapter. Don't bite your nail, Amanda. Don't hunch your shoulders, Amanda. Stop that slouching. Sit up straight, Amanda. Here, hunch means not to bend your soldiers means the upper portion of your body na? amanda up up soldiers ko bend mat karo okay don't bend your shoulder when why her mother instructing her these things if any children is uh, he or she is sitting by bending her soldiers very lazily it's look very lazy na? and stop that slouching sit up straight amanda slouching means the a lazily or sit gently Amanda. Now the second paragraph. Second paragraph paragraph is the reaction of Amanda's mother. Means it's her her imagination. There is a language emergency where the sole inhabitant is me, a mermaid drafting blasphemy. Here language means relaxing. Okay. And the drafting means moving slowly. Here What's she emerging? She emerging just like, like a mermaid. Mermaid, do you know the mermaid means? Generally, we call the, hum log bolte na, in Jalpari, the mermaid means the, the lower part of her body is, called, is the fish and the upper part of her body is the human being. Na? In Hindi, we call the Jalpari. Jante ho na, ap, isko jo Jalpari, the fairy tales, jo bachyo ki kahani mein hum log sunte hain. To, similarly, Amanda, भी एक जलपरी की तरह आराम से समुद्र में कोई इसको डिस्टर्ब ना करे कोई उसको ये मत करो अमेंडा वो मत करो अमेंडा हाँ यू हैव नॉट टू डू दिस थिंग्स यू हैव नॉट टू टू डेट थिंग्स कोई इंस्ट्रक्ट ना करे वो अपनी मर्जी से अपनी खुशी से आराम से रहे वो इस तरह चाहती है नाउ द थर्ड पैरा थर्ड पैरा बाय हर मादर लुक डिड यू फिनिश योर होमवर्क अमेंडा डिड यू टाइड योर रूम अमेंडा आई थॉट आई टॉल यू टू क्लीन योर शूज Amanda. Here again, her mother instructing her to she have done her, her homework or not. Na? Actually, she is inquiring these things. Or either she have done her work properly or not. Na? Did you finish your homework, Amanda? Did you tidy your room, Amanda? Kya apne apna kamra saaf kiya, Amanda? I thought I told you to clean you, your shoes, Amanda. I told you, Amanda, apna room saaf karne ke liye apne saaf kiya. एक डिसिप्लिन बच्चा एक अच्छा बच्चा सब अपना डे टू डे लाइफ का काम खुद करता है और अच्छी तरह से करता है दैट्स एवरी पेरेंट्स वांट्स दैट हिज और हर चिल्ड्रन शुड बी अ सेल्फ डिपेंडेंट वो अपना काम खुद सीखे द सिमिलरली दैट इज व्हाई द एमेंडस मदर इंस्ट्रक्टिंग हर यू हैव टू डू दिस थिंग्स एंड दैट इज बट सम ऑफ द चिल्ड्रन दे डोंट लाइक दिस थिंग्स ना दे फील इरिटेशन ना ओके नाउ अगेन द फोर्थ पैरा Fourth paragraph is the again the imagination of Amanda, or you can say the reaction of Amanda. Okay, I am an orphan roaming the street. I patter soft dust with my hushed bare feet. The silent is gold. The freedom is sweet. Here in this fourth paragraph, Amanda imagines herself as an orphan. Orphan means जिसके माँ बाप नहीं होते. Okay. The parent, the child who don't have their parents, mother or fathers, na, jiske ma baap nahi hote, they are called the orphan. So Amanda wants 
जस्ट लाइक एन ऑर्फन जिसके माँ बाप नहीं होते हैं जो आराम से रास्ते में घूमते फिरते हैं जिसको कोई बोलने वाला कोई नहीं होता है अपने मर्जी के मालिक होते हैं जिस सिमिलरली लाइक दिस ओके आई पैटर सॉफ्ट डस्ट विथ माई हस बियर फिट मीन आई पैटर मीन्स सम डिजाइन ना सी वॉन्ट्स टू मेक सम डिजाइन विथ हर फिट ना वेन सी इज प्लेइंग विथ द डांस जब वो बालू में खेलती है जब डांस में खेलती है जस्ट सी इज मेकिंग सम डिजाइन द साइलेंट इज गोल्ड एंड द फ्रीडम इज स्वीट उसमें अगर वो बाहर जाके खेले रास्ते में खेले स्ट्रीट में खेले जिस तरह और फ्रेंड बच्चे खेलते हैं जिसको बोलने वाला कोई नहीं होता है तो अमेंडा भी खुद उस तरह का लाइफ जीना चाहती है जो कोई उसको डिस्टर्ब ना करे क्यों क्यों वो चाहती है सी फील इरिटेशन है जब उसके उसकी माँ उसको बार बार इंस्ट्रक्ट करती है आप ये करो अमेंडा आप वो करो अमेंडा आप ये मत करो अमेंडा आप वो मत करो अमेंडा देन सी फील द इरिटेशन ओके नाउ द फिफ्थ पैरा ओके डोंट इट दैट चॉकलेट अमेंडा रिमेंबर योर एक्नी अमेंडा विल यू प्लीज लुक एट मी when i am speaking to you amanda don't eat that chocolate amanda amanda aap wo chocolate zyada mat khaya karo okay don't eat remember your acne do you know the meaning of acne acne means the pimples aapko pimples hai amanda theek hai maybe if you consume too much chocolates acne hota hoga but it's written here uh, will you please look at me when i am speaking to you amanda mane jab amanda ke amanda कि माँ अमेंडा से बात करते हैं वो रेस्पॉन्स नहीं देते हैं प्लीज रेस्पॉन्स टू मी अमेंडा वेल आई एम टॉकिंग टू यू ओके नो द नेक्स्ट पैरा अगेन दिस दिस पैरा इज द रिएक्शन ऑफ अमेंडा आई एम रेपेंजल आई हैव नॉट ए केयर लिव इन ए टावर इज ए ट्रेंगुलर एंड रेयर आई विल सर्टनली नेवर लेट डाउन माई ब्राइट हेयर हियर इन दिस पैरा Here the author used the word Rapunzel. Do you know the story of Rapunzel? Rapunzel is actually a fairy tale. Na? The एक लड़की होती है जो एक tower में बैठती है जिसके लंबे बाल होते हैं ठीक है long hair ना जो वो tower में कोई नहीं जा सकता When when she wants that the Rapunzel when she wants somebody wants somebody is there in with her ना वो क्या करती है अपने बालों को छोड़ देती है and with उसके बालों को पकड़ के tower में कोई आते हैं इट्स द लॉन्ग वन ना तो इट्स द लॉन्ग स्टोरी दिस इज योर ऑनलाइन क्लास आई कैनॉट गो थ्रू दिस वन द स्टोरी ऑफ रेपेंजर आई होप यू नो इट दिस वन तो वो वहाँ चढ़ जाता है और वो अकेले रहती है और आराम से रहती है नो वन इज देयर टू डिस्टर्ब हर ना दैट सिमिलरली एमेंडा ऑल्सो वॉन्ट्स टू बी ए रेपेंजर दैट्स तो कोई उसको डिस्टर्ब ना करे कोई उसको ओके okay. Stop that slouching at once, Amanda. You are always so moody, Amanda. Anyone would, anyone would think that I nag at you, Amanda. Stop that slouching, Amanda. Slouching means moody. Okay, Amanda always she is a moody girl. When her mother says something to her, she become angry and she sits silently in one corner. Nah. and that's why her mother instructed her, stop that slouching amanda means don't be moody amanda okay you are always so moody na anyone would think that i nag at you amanda nag means the scolding mane gaali karna theek hai to koi bhi ye sochega ki main aapko hamesha daantti hu amanda hamesha gaali karti hu amanda to now this poem actually amanda uh, From this is the seven para of this poem. Now we completed it. But the highlight of this poem is what? The actually the high the highlight of this poem here. Amanda's mother, na, always or just already I told you that para one, para three, para fifth, and para seven speaking by her mother. Para two, para four, and para six is the imagination of Amanda. Okay, here this poem Amanda. Amanda, every children wants that his or her children to be a good citizen, a good person, a, to be successful in in his or her life. That's why every child, every parent instruct her children, um, his um, girl or a boy, 
to be a good citizen they are there that's why they are giving instruction but the most of the children they don't like this and they feel irritation so now uh, here some of the question in this poem na? we have to know something about this one just for example how old do you think amanda is uh, na? then how do you know this na? then how old you think that amanda is amanda is actually a 8 to 10 years old girl na? how do you know that from uh, from the word homework we came to know that she is a school going girl na? okay number two question here I am not going to discuss all the questions here. Some of the important questions I will discuss with you. Na? Just see. Um, who is the speaker in stanza 2, 4 and 6? Obviously 2, 4 and 6 is the Amanda. Is, it's her imagination. Na? Now do you think the do you think this the speaker is listening to the speaker in stanza 1, 3, 5 and 7? Means do you think that Amanda is listening to her mother when she says this in the um, stanza 1, 3 and 5 and 7? No, she didn't listen. Na? Okay. One very important question. Is Amanda an orphan? Why does she say so? Actually, Amanda is not an orphan. She has her parents. Na? But she wants to live freely and that's why she, she imagines herself as an orphan. Okay. Now, in this poem, we have to know one thing. Here, Amanda, the imagination of Amanda and she wants, she wants three things. So she imagine herself as an, first she wants, she imagine herself as an mermaid. Huh? She wants to be a mermaid. And the second, she wants to be an orphan. And the third, she wants to be a rapunzel. From this poem, you have to remember these three things and now we are going to stop this for today thank you